This is Mark Belton, Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. I'm here today with my boy, Silent Mike. What do we got today? Maybe some uh, deadlifts? I think since we're here at the 2017 Los Angeles Fit Expo, we should do something a little different today. What do you think? I'm in. <laughs> Make powerlifting great again. I'm, I'm fire super training now. Top Finn, Ryan Shaw, tomorrow. I'm coming for you, brother. Damn, this is, this is good. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, that's not even a fair question. Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West, with two of the funniest guys in the Midwest. Nice Mark Smelly Bell, LA Fit Expo 2017. Uh, Tom's, when's the last time you had sex? On the plane right here. That's a lie with that one woman. I think you did. <laughs> right, last night, two minutes. Personal best. Mile High Club, huh? Well, we tried well I was by myself, out. seated row by myself. I don't think that is considered sex. No, it counts. Uh, he, no, rode it with counts. he rode with some. Woman, I saw it. I'm not gonna say anything. Next question. <laughs> what advice would you give to a younger self, maybe about 12 years old? What, what would you say to a young Tam Callis? Well, first off, when Tom Finn tells you it's cool to drink and drive when you're 16, absolutely do not listen to him because you'll get your first DUI trying to go home in the wrong direction and you pull over in the middle of the road and claim you're not drinking. I didn't say it was cool to drink and drive. Yes, I just said it was cool you to drink. Cool. Not drive, you idiots. No, no, I never got a DUI. You know? Tom, what would your advice be to a young self? Ooh, my advice would be to start drinking heavier and bench heavier at an earlier age. What do you think of Donald Trump being our president? I think hopefully nothing but good things, right? Donald Trump. Okay, bye. If you had to wrestle Brian Shaw tomorrow, right, there. right here at this booth, booth 446, yes. what would your promo to him be to entice him to get the big man to wrestle you right here tomorrow? Well, let me tell you something, brother. I fought big men in my life. And they go down like trees. I'm gonna chop him down like a piece of red oak. Tom Finn, Brian Shaw, tomorrow. I'm coming for you, brother. I'm gonna slam you like Hulk slammed the Andre the Giant. WrestleMania three. Woo! Damn, uh, sound pretty impressive. Sounds like he's gonna win. Yeah, Brian Shaw looks terrified over there. Look, he won't even look at us. Yeah. Oh, turn, he won't even look at us anymore. He's, uh, he out angled just uh, correct me if I'm wrong here. You out-angled Brian Shaw in a photo, yeah. and he seems to be pretty sore about it. Do you guys do you guys talk much after that happened? No, no. We were Snapchatting for a while before the Arnold, and then I finally he finally met me, had the chance to come to my booth. I signed pictures for his wife, kiss his baby, and we took a picture together. I out-angled him. He looked tiny. He looked like he was four foot six, and I was five foot seven. Monster. That's uh, probably going to get you in a lot of trouble to kiss his baby, since it was still in his <laughs> wife's uh, stomach. <laughs> we were at, we're, we're, we're at the Arnold, so I don't know what you were kissing or what happened, but that is uh, that's a private matter between you and Mr. Shaw. Look at him. He's crying. Oh, yeah. Look at your tricep. Show the camera. Sho shove it up there. Shove it up there. Look at Silent Mike. Pretty good. It's tiny. I look five foot seven in this thing. Uh, you look pretty good. At least. What's your favorite movie? Uh, the Notebook with Rachel McAdams. Favorite movie, Tam? Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> we have. We have Dumb, second, Dumb and Dumber. Stronger, faster. Favorite, uh... Best documentary. Favorite music. Favorite kind of music. Or favorite artist. Uh, let's go hit rap, hip-hop. Maybe, uh... Uh, Lil Wayne. Lil Tunchi? Maybe a little Drake? Hank Williams Jr., Conway Twitty, Leonard Skinner, The Allman Brothers, and David Allen Coe. I remember the Kanye Twitty uh, stories yeah, Twitty. From, I've ever seen from when you were, from when you were on our, our uh, podcast. But here you go, Mike. Aren't you a Kanye Twitty impersonator? No. Hello, darling. <laughs> if, you, if you were to hire someone in the fitness industry to help you with lifting or perhaps business, who would you hire? Silent Mike. Didn't you already hire him? Yeah, that's my coach. Yeah. yeah. He hired me. He took me on. <laughs> he, he took me on as a client. He pays me to live for him. Are you serious? Yeah. And fanny packs. Well, if you give me a fanny pack, I'll be your client. And we're done here.
to get your beer. When do you lose your virginity? Uh, ten years old. Ben, you were there. I was ten. Tam. You're Thirteen. When do you lose your virginity? Thirteen years old, and then again at fourteen. First one didn't work out so well. Very confusing. What's the best advice you've ever been given? Oh, jeez. Build the chest, fuck the rest. My old man told me that in eighth grade while I was benching. Um, my best advice was a squat was a king of all exercises. Doesn't matter what else you do as long as you can squat a lot. You got one guy working legs, one guy working chest. You guys are not communicating that well as a tag team. And therefore, I think that you guys should wrestle Silent Mike and myself here at booth 446 tomorrow, tomorrow. right here. Live. Tomorrow. That's all the time we got. Strength is never a weakness. See y'all later.